pa niya yung insurance policy kapag naubos yung emergency fund. <laughs> kainin niya yung papel. Yung papel. <laughs> o, kainin, o kakainin pa niya yung papel. Hindi naman, di ba? Hello! Kamusta? Hello. Kamusta? Kamusta? So, tayong Very apat good. ulit for a oh, new yeah. episode sa Wealth Archie. The Fab Four. Uh, <laughs> Fab Four. Welcome back, oh. Adriel. <laughs> Oo nga, nasa, nasa <laughs> Metro Manila ka. Yes, back in Manila. Hindi nasa city. Oo oh, nga. Hindi ka pa ito ang kinarantine? Hindi, self-quarantine. Self-quarantine. Ah, so, self-quarantine. third day ko na, self-quarantine. Kulong sa kondo. Oh. Okay. Ano ano plano sa nakyan mo? Ah, pal, pal. Ah, pal. Naka PPE daw si Renzi eh. As in, uh, full ah, really? full, full gear. Oh. As in yung parang may hazmat ganon. <laughs> Hindi yung ano lang, N95 goggles tapos naka ano ako. Yung PPE gown. Anong pag-uusapan natin today? Yan. 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 Dahil maraming nagtatanong na nagulat ako, wala pala tayong video. <laughs> Oo. At nag-trending sa isang forum group. Ari, ano like trending unahin? Oo. Ano ba unahin? Insurance ba or emergency fund? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh. So, nakakagulat, no? Alam ko kasi lagi natin nababanggit yan. Oo, oh, oo, oh, oo. Oh, oh. mm-hmm. Pero, Pero for some reason, <laughs> wala pala tayong dedicated na video na pag-uusapan. So, yun. So, sagutin natin. Ano bang dapat ang unahin? Um, okay. Emergency fund or insurance? Uh, when you okay. say insurance, ano to? Life insurance? Health insurance? Kahit life. anong life or health. No? Okay. So, so, let's start na lang siguro as a story. So, yung nag-trending sa oh, isang insurance. Story to, so, uh, ano yung story uh, na yan? Nakara- so, minsan, nakara- isang araw. Yeah. Uh, minsan, isang nakara- araw. Ang nakaraan. <laughs> <laughs> so, isang gabi, may nag-post sa PIT group or yung isang insurance group, no? Uh-huh. Na nagtatanong siya sa mga advisors na uh, wala na akong income tapos gamit ko na lang emergency fund ko. So, down to my last, let's say, three months ng emergency fund. Ako? Tapos, meron akong insurance policy na may fund value. No. Let's say yung fund value na yon daw sabi niya good for another 3 months yon sa emergency fund. So kapag i-add niya daw yon kung si surrender ba niya yon, uh, magiging 6 months ulit yung emergency fund niya. Ngayon daw nag-freelance daw siya pero unstable yung income, kaya nag-iisip siya kung i-surrender ba niya or hindi. So yung root of the problem, nawalan siya ng income tapos paubos na yung emergency fund tapos hindi pa stable yung income niya kaya napapaisip siya kung ilalapse niya yung policy or hindi. So yung nangyari sa sa comment section, nagde-debate lahat ng agents na ikikip, uh, hindi. Uh, sa Yung sa akin, sabi ko, since dahil may nagtag kasi sa akin na, ano, na isang member doon, Na, mm-hmm. Yo, ADL, ano yung thoughts mo? Yan na naman tayo your sa mga thoughts, your thoughts. thoughts, your thoughts, thoughts uh-huh. yan, eh. So, binasa ko yung story niya at sinabi ko, I think, based on what you said, um, it's better na isurrender mo na lang muna yung policy. Mm-hmm. Because anyway, you're just at home. no? Tapos, kailangan mo rin yung pera ngayon. Dahil hindi natin alam kasi kung matatagalan pa yung pandemic, yung job mo ngayon na freelance so super unstable siya so it makes for me makes sense na surrender mo siya tapos gagawing buffer yung emergency fund for the next 6 months tapos kapag okay na yung income mo sa freelance mo um that's the time you can get another policy na cheaper mm-hmm. na then upgrade mo na lang kung kailangan no mm-hmm. so yun yung sinabi ko as the general advice as the in terms of financial planner tapos may nagdebate pa sa akin na uh, yung, may challenge sa uh, challenge sa akin na sabi niya in a cash flow management perspective okay yan pero in an investment perspective hindi counter rebuttal ako na um yung insurance policy niya hindi siya investment at this at, at the end of the day um insurance policy din siya so, ano yung kailangan i-address natin ngayon? Yung current needs ba natin? Or yung insurance policy na i-keep natin in force? No? Mm-hmm. Because regardless of what happened, 
no? Um, kailangan pa rin niya bayaran yung policy at the end of yes. the day. Kahit i-delay niya for, let's say, two years or one year, which most of the advisors are saying na i-delay na lang yung payment, etc. Yung delay of payment, babalik din yan sa'yo eh. So, mm, the lapse. Yeah, maglalapse din yan. So, parang sayang yung 65K or whatever that 65? amount. 65? 65K Mahala. yung sinabi niyang fund value eh. Tapos, yun na yung fund value. Oh. Uh-huh. Tapos, so, pwede rin kasi yung fund value yung magbabayad dun sa premiums eh. No? Uh-huh. So, ang tanong niya, it's either uh, i-redeem, i-surrender ko yung policy uh-huh. ko, ko yung cash value or I will let the fund value pay for the mm-hmm. insurance muna so that mm-hmm. bawas din yung aking uh, uh, mm-hmm. kailangan bayaran no so yun yeah yun but yun yung muna. dilemma niya is kung hindi niya daw ma-redeem tapos maubos yung emergency fund niya saan siya kukuha ng pera ngayon di ba so yun yung Uh-oh. issue niya kaya sabi ko i think better na yun nga is surrender but at least you have your peace of mind na at least meron kang pambili ng pagkain, ng grocery for the family. Tapos, because he's staying with his parents then, so, at least, at least may ambag siya sa bahay, pambayad ng bills. Mm-hmm. Anong, ano ang ambag mo? Baka tanungin siya, ano ba ang ambag mo? <laughs> uh, so, yun yung, ano ko, counter battle ko. Mas importante ba talaga ngayon, ibabayad mo yung insurance policy mo? Eh, wala ka ngang income eh. Di ba? Mm-hmm. So, yeah. again, sa ano, cover your needs. Kala may food ka in the table, sustain yourself because kung, if you don't sustain yourself, can you still pay your policy? Para mag, alam mo yun, magda-domino effect yan eh. Mm-hmm. One, one problem to another. So, yun yung counter ko. So, mm-hmm. yan. Mm-hmm. Yun yung story. Yeah, so, well, the day, yeah, for the me, emergency fund talaga first because you'll never know when an emergency will strike. Yung oh. insurance policy kasi it's meant to cover yung unexpected, no? Meron kasi tayong tinatawag sa risk management na um, yung, paano ba yun? High probability and then in, low probability, in, high, oh, effect. high probability, oh, high effect, ma- malaki or yung effect. Major effect or low, minor effect. Yes. effect uh, uh. So in terms of ano yung effect sa'yo versus ano yung probability of it. Yung life insurance kasi covers yung low probability per high effect. No? Mm-hmm. Yung emergency fund, tinitingnan ko siya. Very risk, ma- no? very high yung probability. Pero yung effect can vary. Mm-hmm. No? It can be low, can be high, can be medium. So, kailangan always nandyan siya. Para at least makover niya yung all the, all the risk. So, yun mm-hmm. yung ano ko, take ko dyan. <laughs> yeah, so, uh-oh. emergency fund muna. <laughs> yeah, before the insurance policy. But, kung gusto talaga ng insurance, then you can check yung mga micro-insurance, pre-need burial, di ba? Mm-hmm. Though it is a case-to-case basis eh, per person. Iba kasi yung galawan or yung analysis sa low-income person versus a person who's, let's say, mga blue-collar or working professionals versus high net worth eh. So, it, again, tinitingnan talaga yung need for me. Though always mm-hmm. have your emergency fund first. Uh, as much as possible, ayaw nga natin na sinusurrender yung policy mm-hmm. or pinapalaps. Of course, that is the the last thing that we want them to do. But, of course, ang priority natin ay yung um, ma- mag- magkaroon sila ng funds para sa present needs nila. Yes. And if it means uh, surrendering a policy, then uh, so be it. Kasi yun nga, Meron kang policy, wala ka namang makain ngayon. So, ang mangyayari, mag- magagamit mo yung policy, di ba? Kasi pag oh, namatay ka. <laughs> so, that, so diba? that's uh, parang counterintuitive. But yeah. uh, I guess yung original na, na gusto natin din masagot, which is very often yung tanong sa atin is, kunwari, mm. you're just starting, wala ka pang mm. emergency fund, wala ka pang insurance, ano ba mm. dapat yung unahin? Kasi I, I see sa social yes. media na uh, ang pinupush kagad nila is uh, ayan sure nakakapag-ipon ka na kailangan mo nang bumili ng insurance di ba mm-hmm. so uh, yung anong, ako dyan, ano masasabi uh, niyo sa ganung advice na ayan medyo nakakapag-save ka na so dapat bumili ka na kagad ng insurance ngayon mapa may, life insurance man yan or health insurance mm-hmm. actually may client akong ganyan um but sinabi ko 
mm, always have your emergency fund. But again, it's up to you. Kono yung well meaning ng emergency fund sa because yung definition kasi ng emergency sa atin subjective eh. So umiiba yung definition ng emergency per person. But in general, yung emergencies can be going home sa province, biglaan or biglaang may expense sa bahay na kailangan i-shoulder or biglang yung parents lalo for yung 20s to 30s lalo na sila or yung regardless ko anong situation di ba biglang kailangan biglang may sale sa mall oo hindi hindi yan emergency hindi <laughs> 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 emergency hindi yan emergency pero yung let's say tipo yung parents kailangan ng check up bigla so mga ganun cases uh-huh. di ba so yun mga emergencies na yun kailangan i-cover so sabi ko you can have the emergency fund Depends. Pwede six months, no, most. But if you feel like kailangan eight months, then so be it. Um, if feel mo one year, kailangan mo i-justify kung bakit one year, no, or more. But yung sa client ko kasi yung ginawa niya, may emergency fund siya, may savings account siya, tapos meron siyang fund for investment. So parang, oh, iba, iba to. Marami so, na. Uh, marami na. So sabi ko, since yun yung style mo din, okay lang. At least in case maubos yung emergency fund mo, may savings ka pa. Um, kung maubos na yun, then hanap na tayo ng ibang assets na pwede natin. Mm-hmm. I-benta. Ano? Oh, i-benta. Ikaw, Marion. Uh, Marion, para... ano sa tingin mo? Mm-hmm. Oo, sa akin, para sa mga nagsisimula, no, um, ano ba mauna, emergency fund or insurance? Uh, Doon muna ako sa insurance. Um, ano bang binibigay ng insurance? Insurance is income replacement. So kapag fresh graduate ka, so nagsisimula ka pa lang, um, tanongin natin yung sarili natin, nagko-contribute pa tayo sa bahay natin. Now again, it depends kasi minsan na uh, we come from a well-off family na hindi naman natin kailangan mag-contribute, di ba? Or we come from a family na most of the expenses, tayo yung breadwinner, right? So umaasa sila sa atin. Pero what if may mangyari sa atin, di ba? So sino yung papalit dun sa income o sa contribution na binibigay ko sa bahay? Dun papasok yung insurance. Uh, then again, dun sa emergency fund naman, um, for me kasi insurance is has a component na liability. Eh. You still have to pay for your insurance through premiums para maging effective siya. Um, so, yun na nga, kung nangangailangan ka na ngayon, lalo na panahon ng pandemic, maraming nawalan ng trabaho, maraming natigil sa trabaho, uh, one has to have emergency funds pa rin. And makakain mo ba yung papel ng insurance policy kapag ganun, di ba? <laughs> Hindi Pwede. naman. Pwede. <laughs> 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 pala. Dapat yung makapal-kapal para nakakabusog. <laughs> pwede, pwede rin. Uh, yan, yun yeah. sa akin. Yeah, Renzi, ano sa tingin mo? Ako? mm Okay, uh, ini-imagine ko eh, di ba? So, may yeah. bagong trabaho. Okay. Uh, normally naman kasi, kapag may bagong trabaho, may SSS ka, right? O may GSIS mm-hmm. ka. So, you already have big. that safety diba? net, di ba? Mm-hmm. Of social safety net like SSS, pag-ibig, PhilHealth. And kadalasan din naman yan, kapag ka ikaw ay nagtatrabaho na, meron ng group life insurance. Madalas mm-hmm. may mga in-offer na yan. So siguro sa akin, kung may mangyari man sa'yo, at least pag kinumbine yung mga insurance na yun, that would at least be enough, di ba? Para pang man lang, <laughs> pambili ng kabaong. Mm-hmm. Ayun, hindi man, hindi man ano, hindi man ma-replace yung income na dinadala mo sa pamilya mo, pero kumbaga, medyo awas na siya dun sa pangangailangan ngayon. Balik tayo. Ano bang insurance? Insurance is uh, risk protection, di ba? Or risk mitigation. Yes. Kung baga, yes. kung may risk, risk na mamatay or risk na ma-accident is mm-hmm. at least may pamalit, di ba? May pamalit mm-hmm. na income or pang expense or pang ng pamilya. Ngayon, ang tanong naman dyan is that, sabi nga ni Ariel kanina, gaano ka likely na mangyari yun? yung risk na yun. Kasi, pag sinabi mong risk, may nung pwedeng high probability of risk or low yes. probability. So, kumbaga, uh, ano pa sa Tagalog yun? Uh, malamang ba mangyay... Gano kalamang mangyayari yun? Okay? Yung possibilidad. Yung or possibilidad. Or gano ba kadal? Yun. Yun. The possibility. So, halimbawa, kunwari, mid-twenties ka, okay? Gano ka posible na mamamatay ka? Right? I mean, lahat naman mamamatay. So, kumbaga, if insurance is uh, 
mitigating and managing your risk, then gaano ka possible or ka-probable yung risk na minamanage natin. In this case, it is death. Diba? It is your death. Now, I I did some statistics <laughs> research. Uh, uh. <laughs> Okay, I got this from ano, I got this from tradingeconomics.com. As of 2018, mm-hmm. ang mortality ng adult female is 131 over 1000, meaning mm-hmm. 13%. So ibig sabihin, so in short, uh, meron ka, 10. So pag sinabing mortality mm-hmm. rate, it's between 15 to 60 years old, okay? So if you're mm-hmm. between 15 to 60, merong 13% na chance na mamatay ka. Mm-hmm. But as per ano naman, as per if you do a more granular approach, kung halimbawa, if you're 20 to 24 and this is as of DOH statistics, no, merong 2.1% chance for mm-hmm. both sexes. But 2013, mm-hmm. 2013 mm-hmm. data. So ibig sabihin, Parang, okay, there's a 20% chance na mamatay ka as of 2018 kapag babae, kapag lalaki naman, you have, mas mataas sa lalaki eh, you have 23.5% chance. Oh, one out of four. Okay? okay. Of dying. 23. Mm-hmm. One out of, uh, 23%, oo. 20, oh, Ganyan, one out of, out of, one, out of ano, 1,000. So, kung meron kang 20 to 23% chance of dying, then yun yung risk mo, di ba? Sa life, na cover ng insurance. On the other hand, ano naman ang emergency fund? Ang emergency fund is to cover for any risk of financial shocks, di ba? Like mm-hmm. for example, ayun nga, may lumapit sa na, you know, na relative, may anak ka or family member na hospital, tapos ma- masira kotse mo, Right? Pasira yung aircon, tumulo yung bubong, alam mo yon, or meron kang kapitbahay or kaibigan na, you know, na lumapit sa'yo. So, mm-hmm. I don't have the statistics for that one, pero siguro naman parang mas madalas yung nangyayari <laughs> na yeah. tumulo yung bubong, mas madalas nangyayari na sisira yung kotse, mas madalas nang, ay, pag-usapan na lang natin yung ano, yung expenses no ya yeah, pag sa hospitalization and sickness mas madalas na ano na mas uh, nagkakasakit ka o nagkakasakit yung any one of your relative at mas madalas pag si- pinagsama-sama sila parang mas marami yung instance na these small emergencies na mas nangyayari sa buhay mo versus of course you okay versus of course you once ka lang mamatay sa tanang buhay mo so mm-hmm. in that regard and couple that with the meron ka ng safety net Okay, with the SSS, GSIS, PhilHealth, the group life insurance, then I think lang, given all of these factors, dapat unahin ang emergency fund. Mm-hmm. Kasi may insurance ka na eh, may pangburol ka na eh, di ba? Pero mm-hmm. kasing sabihin na, eh, hey, kung may mangyari sa'yo, da, da, da. Eh, pero again, it's a low probability event, di ba? Mababa lang naman yung probability na mangyari sa'yo yun. Okay, in fact, Kapag ka, yun na nga, if you're 20 to 24, 2.1% lang ang probability as of 2013. Kasi ito yung mm-hmm. sa DOH. Kasi yung 23%, that's from 15 to 60. Yung mm-hmm. lang na yun, di ba? Pero ito, if you're 20 to 24, 2.1% lang ang probability mo. Mm-hmm. 20, 20 to 25 to 29, 2.3%. In fact, nagpo 4% yan kapag 40 Pag 50, 6%, 7%. So, kumbaga, ang baba ng probability na mangyayari sa yun, so, kumbaga, given your limited resources, bakit ka maglalagay ng malaking chunk ng resource mo on something which is low probability? Na, mm-hmm. meron ka na namang existing na safety net at the very minimum na, you know, yeah. SSGs, IS, PhilHealth, and yung group life insurance. Mm-hmm. Uh, kaya natin din... Kaya ko lang gusto rin na unay ng emergency fund. Kasi again, mas madalas nangyayari yung mga small emergencies versus you dying. So in the hierarchy of probabilities, okay, again, no, hindi ko sinasabi na hindi ka mamamatay or paglabas mo ng bahay, di ba? Hindi ka tatamaan. But in the hierarchy of probability, mas likely na mangyayari yung mga small emergencies na yun. So kung mas likely mangyayari yung mga bagay na to then mas bibigyan ko ng priority yung mas malamang mangyayari mm-hmm. kaysa dun sa hindi malamang mangyayari. So, mm-hmm. in terms of priority, mag-emergency fund muna ako. Mga 3 to 6 times of my 
uh, expense. But then again, maganda naman ngayon sa financial market natin, nag evolve ang financial product, pwede kang you do both. <laughs> Mm-hmm. May diba? mga ano na ngayon eh, savings oh, with life insurance. Yung savings and life insurance. Uh-oh. So, si BPI, meron yan. Yung BPI, Uh-oh. pamana. Si Metrobank, di ba? Bank. Nakita- yes, Metrobank, Bank na yan. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Security think, Bank and uh, all those Robinson things. Robinson's Bank. Na- na- Ay, sorry, Robinson's okay. Bank. Robinson's uh-huh. Bank. BNB, di ba? Parang Uh-oh. BNB, meron din ata. So, mm-hmm. kumbaga, given these uh, new products in the market, pwede mo na siyang pagsabayin. So, kumbaga, hindi mo kailangan ma-pressure, takot na, oh, baka mamatay ka or may mangyari sa'yo. I mean, may safety net ka na naman eh. So, okay na yun, di ba? Tapos, habang binibuild mo emergency fund mo, then avail of those products na may free insurance uh, with your ano, with your savings na 3 to 5 times of your average daily bar. So, isipin mo kapag ang emergency fund mo nasa 100,000, may 300,000 na free insurance, wala kang kailangan bayaran at hindi mo kailangan magutom para magba uh, <laughs> para magbayad, uh, di ba? Yun ang take ko dyan. Yeah. Ayan. So, so ang amal ang kontoan yeah. natin. <laughs> Sige, last, end. Adrian. Yeah, okay. So, regarding mga hospitalization, ay mga expenses na yan. So, may video tayo dyan regarding HMO and health insurance. So, uh, link will be in the description or in the playlist. So, just check it out. So, mm-hmm. guys, kung may natutunan kayong uh, bago dito sa video, then please give it a thumbs up and share it yes. to your friends. And mm-hmm. please remember to subscribe to our channel. Yes. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you won't miss a thing. So thank you for watching and uh, <laughs> salamat. see you sa live stream natin and uh, of course see you again next week sa ating uh, bagong video dito sa ating YouTube channel. Alright, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Ingat guys. See you. Bye-bye.